and welcome to another episode of Sports Talk. I'm your host, Rocco Law, here in the studio with Brandon Hislop. Today's episode will feature our Super Bowl special, where me and Brandon will preview the big game on Sunday, give you our picks on who will win, and tell you everything you need to know about Super Bowl 53. Rocco, we begin by discussing how the NFC champs, the LA Rams, got to Super Bowl 53. It's been a long road for the LA Rams. So many years in St. Louis, and only one Super Bowl win under Hall of Famers Kurt Warner and Marshall Folk. The numerous horrendous seasons in the early 2000s, they moved back to their original home in the LA Coliseum in 2016. After being the worst team in the NFL for 11 straight years, then accrued top draft picks, which eventually enabled them to draft their franchise quarterback, Jared Goff, and running back Todd Gurley, who became all pros. In 2017, they take a gamble and hire Sean McVay to help fix their coaching staff. McVay then became the youngest head coach in modern NFL history. They made the playoffs in 2018 for the first time in 11 seasons, but then lost to the Atlanta Falcons in the NFC wildcard game. Fast forward to this offseason, word spreads that the LA Rams is the most desirable place to play for free agents. So in turn, they signed Pro Bowl free agents like Ndamukong Sue, Akeem Tlaib, and Marcus Peters, which bolster their defense. They decide after a long contract settlement to sign all-pro defensive tackle Aaron Donald. It's a huge 60 or $135 million contract extension. The Rams start up the 2019 season on a roll and eventually finish the regular season with a 13-3 record atop of the NFC West Division. They beat the Dallas Cowboys in the divisional round and then beat Drew Brees and the Saints on the road in New Orleans. However, some may say the Saints would have won due to a pass interference call between Rams cornerback Nikel Roby Coleman and Saints receiver Tommy Lee Lewis on a huge third and ten in a tie game. However, there was no call which caused widespread controversy regarding the NFL's officiating. Ultimately, the game went into OT and the Rams nailed a 57-yard field goal to clinch the overtime win in the NFC Championship game, bringing us to the NFC opponent in Super Bowl 53. Well, Brandon, we've talked a, a lot about the LA Rams, but now let's get to how the New England Patriots made to Super Bowl 53. The year prior, the city of brotherly love gave Brady and the Pats their third Super Bowl loss in the Brady-Belichick era. Nick Foles and the Philly Eagles became the second team ever to beat Brady and the Pats in the Super Bowl. The other team, as you know, led by Eli Manning and Tom Coughlin of the New York Giants in 08 and 2012. Rebounding off their Super Bowl loss, Brady and the Pats quickly got to work. Even though the Pats lost easy wins through Brown Leeds, they managed to get the first round by, sneaking in as the second seed in the AFC playoff, and again were atop the AFC division. They beat Phillip Rivers' LA Chargers in the divisional round, Rivers now 0-8 against Brady in the playoffs all time. Then advanced to their eighth straight AFC championship, where they beat Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs in a thrilling OT win at Arrowhead Stadium, 37-31 bringing us to the AFC opponent in Super Bowl 53. A championship is on the line, Brandon. Who do you got winning Super Bowl 53? Rock, I'm going to go with the same pick I had last year in the New England Patriots. Like I said last year, you just can't go against Brady and Belichick. Yes, they were underdogs in the beginning of the year. As Brady came out saying, people were saying they're too old, they have no defense, they're, they just don't know what to do. But you can never count Brady out. Brady has receivers like Julian Edelman, Chris Hogan, who are not maybe top line receivers, but they're there and Brady makes them look amazing. And also somebody like Rob Gronkowski, who is a player where if you put him on the, if you put on the slot and he has one-on-one -on -one with the defender, you toss it up and you would back Gronkowski in that situation. Yes, their defense might be, might not be that good, but Tom Brady just, is just going to put an insane amount of points up. And Rocco, who's your pick to win, the Rams or the Patriots? Well, Brandon, I think you're going to be surprised, and I think you're going to like what I'm about to say, but let me just hear me out. Right, last year I picked the Eagles instead of the Patriots, rightly so, because they had a more complete team than New England. My decision quickly panned out to be successful. But I've learned something this year, Brandon. I've learned that we have to respect and understand the greatness of what Tom Brady and Belichick have done in the past 20 years. And that's why I'm picking the past this year. Yes, they didn't have the best of season as we are accustomed to. Yes, they were not number one in the AFC this year. We get all of that. But when they were leading against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs without star players on that New England roster and Brady wielding his magic once again, it was something special. Well, let me use the fourth quarter of that AFC Championship, for instance. I mean, right? 
Fourth quarter, two minutes left, down four. What does he do? Goes on another clutch touchdown drive to put the Pats in the lead once again. And need I remind you, not a hair raise, not one, because he's been here too many times before. But nonetheless, Brandon, I mean, another drive for the ages. When it comes down to it, at, Brandon, at the end of the day, you cannot bet against Tom Brady, who always give you a close game no matter what. The Rams are not the Eagles. Their defense is a little lackluster, to say the least, even with Aaron Donald, and that's what ultimately will hold them back. However, let me clarify one last thing before we run out of time. If Aaron Donald can get to Brady and force pressure when he's under center, and all-pro Todd Gurley balling out, rushing over for 150 yards, and Jared Goff doing his thing, slinging it downfield, I see no reason why this game cannot be close, ending in an L.A. win, but that's just a hot take. You can check out Super Bowl 53 featuring the Rams and the Patriots Sunday, February 3rd at 6.30 p.m. on CBS, hosted at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. The Patriots going for their sixth Super Bowl win under Tom Brady. However, the LA Rams are fired up and ready to go get their avenge. Avenge the team's last Super Bowl appearance loss in, to the Patriots back in 2002. This should be a good one, Rocco. It should, Brandon. Just as we run out of time, thank you for joining us for another episode of Sports Talk. Make sure to check us out on social media at BNB Sports for all of our sports up content. As always, I'm Rocco Law, Brandon Hislop, in the BNB Studio. See you next time. We're always talking sports.